It's time for our Saturday video follow through and uh, I am again, as I've been for most of this week, in one of my favorite places, uh, surrounded by guitar gear and that's where it's at. Uh, and so, but it's something that's even more important and, and, and even more near and dear to my heart is, is God's word and, and having this with me um, is, is awesome because this shows me who he, who he is, who God is and what he's done for me. And so uh, I want this around me all the time and I, and I literally want to be in that world all the time. And, and that brings me to like a, just a, a, an amazing passage, probably one of my favorites from Jeremiah chapter 17, seven and eight. And I love this passage because of the picture that it paints of what a Christian life should be, of what it looks like when a man trusts in the Lord, or when a woman trusts in the Lord. He says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord, right? He's got to repeat it because it's so important. Blessed. And that word blessed, he's, he's saying, look, there, there's no greater way to live. There's no more um, like ideal place for you to be. You can't dial in a better life than that, than trusting in the Lord. And he says, here's what it looks like. It looks like a tree that's planted by water. Now, uh, I spent a lot of time outside yesterday and, uh, you know, and, and again, with, with COVID and lockdown, I've been working from home and, and, and I've been trying to uh, spend as much time outside as possible while the weather's still nice. Uh, I realized that in a few months, it's not going to be real nice to be outside. Uh, so I, in my yard, we have a creek that goes through the front and it goes around the side uh, and through the back of our yard. And so this image is right in front of me every single day. I look outside and I see the trees and, they're, and they kind of line the bank of our creek. Right? They, they are planted by water. I mean, they're, they're right next to this water source. You know, and I never really think about it. Although I, I never really have to water my lawn, especially the, the part that's right by the water, right? Because the, the water source is right there. The trees, same thing. The water's right there. And look at this passage and I'm like, yeah, of course. Th that's a great place to be. Um, now, in, in contrast with that, we lived in California in, in the Central Valley, which is very, very hot and dry most of the year. And in fact, uh, it, it's kind of wild that it's this sort of um, heart and soul of agriculture in America. Uh, you know, a lot of the fruit, a lot of the you know, vegetables and things come from that area. But it doesn't rain and so they have to bring in water right so they so they so they, they find a way to get it from the mountains as, as those uh, as the snow up there melts and, and, and they find any water source and they have to really kind of do like a pipeline to get it to the farms but hey what, what if you're planted right by a stream right, right by a water source because that's what it's like that's what it means to trust in the Lord. He's right there and you're, and you're planted right by him. You're saying, look, I'm gonna be where he is. I don't wanna go anywhere else. Cause he's the source, he's what I need to live. And, and here's what happens, right? Here's what his life looks like. The person who trusts in the Lord, he's like this tree planted by the water. It, it, it sends out its roots by the stream. Cause that, again, that's the source of life that's coming. He doesn't fear when he comes for its leaves remain green. Why? Because it's by the water, by that source. And, right, and, and, and again, if we could connect that with what Jesus said about himself, he said, I have, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the source of this living water that he wants to give to us. And so we can be like that tree planted, right? With Jesus in our hearts, Jesus in our lives, right? We, we hear about him in the word because he is the word. And, 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 and that, that, again, that brings that, that water to our thirsting souls that are just dry and, and, and it, can, it can be dead without it. But Jesus says, no, no, the, the water's just gonna flow. And, and not just a little, right? Not just a couple of drops to, to keep us happy or something. But no, it's like a flood. A good flood. <laughs> it's just overflowing. It's, it's more than you would ever need. It's there. And he says it's not anxious in the year of drought, nor and it and it does not cease to bear fruit. 
been talking about bearing fruit all week, haven't we? And this brings it all together, doesn't it? Be, you know, be, be, be planted. Trust in Him. Be rooted in Him. L- listen, he's, he's saying, look, I don't want you to spend a single day away from your source of life, and that's Jesus. That's His forgiveness, His gift to us of, of life on the cross, and His gift of, of eternal life as He rose from the dead. That is life. That is awesome, and it's that we have each and every day. So just trust Him.